<laughs> what the heck? I love that enthusiasm. That. <laughs> There it is. When did you guys get in town? Ah, peace and tranquility for a moment. Hi. Like I said, a moment. So this is a pondless waterfall, and it's the same footprint, right, that they had? Pretty much the same footprint. The cow is winning. Oh, no, the pig. <laughs> Just following the president of the company, and we're pulling up on a project that I built. There's Al Powers three weeks ago to see how it's looking. This is so exciting. It never gets boring. Visiting Aquascape ecosystem ponds and showcasing how people live the Aquascape lifestyle, including Al Powers. How you doing, buddy? Good morning. Yes, I've had my coffee. Hello, Madam President. <laughs> how are you? You weren't here when we built this, were you? No, I didn't come at all for the... Because we're almost neighbors. 10 minutes from your house. So close. St. Charles, Illinois. Illinois, the water garden capital of the world, Al Powers, the happy pond owner, Colleen Heitzler, the president of the company, and Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, who three weeks ago, we were here transforming a 26-year-old Aquascape ecosystem pond built by your son, Aaron. How's it doing? It's doing very well. We've been part of the Aquascape lifestyle for 26 years. That is amazing. Al brought Aaron in when Aaron was 15 years old, loaded up the stuff in their truck, and Aaron went in the backyard and started digging a hole for it. That's right. So we've always had a pond back here and a stream and it's just a wonderful feature. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful garden. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> you guys are up. What's going on? I was wondering who was yelling back there. <laughs> so these were our helpers. I had no idea the grandkids were in. So Aaron's kids that helped build this. I love that enthusiasm. That... <laughs> There it is. When did you guys get in town? Yesterday. Oh, this is so cool. So this is the first time you've seen it since you guys have built it, right? right. Oh, this is terrific. And wow. Another generation of pond builders. That's right. And that's what I like to... <laughs> Where? In the pond somewhere. Build it and they will come. This is looking good. What'd you think when you came back to see your handiwork? So amazing. Yeah, a little different than the last pond, huh? Yeah. Yeah, for 26 years there was a pond in here and it needed a facelift, but we really kept the waterfall that Aaron built. The only thing we did was rebuild this bottom, which was the last thing that you guys did before you drove all the way out of state to get back to Indiana, huh? Yeah. So what's your favorite part? Water. It's not bad. It sounds pretty good, huh? Well, you know why we did this area over here. Why? For Lily and kids. Yep, for the dog to go in and the kids, they wanted a little beach area. Yes. My favorite part is like this snippy area over there. <laughs> That's good. Well, your dad built this when he was just a few years older than you guys. We rebuilt it with the Aquascape guys about three weeks ago, and that was the last time you were here. Now you got to come back for a visit, huh, and see it for the first time. Where's Kim? Kim is inside the house, I think. I can see she's been putting in some plants around here on the edges. And... I like the plants on the stump. Yes, well, that was my idea. I grabbed that stump and I put some foam in it because it was a hollow stump. And then you put potato vine in here so that potato vine will spread down. They've got creeping jenny over here. They've got ferns. They've got all the plants that will soften up the borders. But it already looks pretty natural, doesn't it? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It was shallow. It was filled with plants over 26 years. Yeah. I see your sitting room. Yeah. Perfect view right from in here. Look at that. Hi, Kim. Boy, they really surprised me. I, they thought they surprised you good. <laughs> How you doing, Mom? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I can see you've already been out here gardening. A little freshening up, and yeah, in this drought, we have to water. Yeah, oh. and you added some of the plants. I see you put the potato yes, vine we, in. We, and... we took out six bags of weeds. <laughs> it looks a little fresher than It looks time. great. Hi, Hi, Lily. This is so fun. So this was kind of the kids say, hey, let's come back and see the pond for the first time since they built it, because they yeah. really did help yeah, build it. That would be great if they could be here for the grand reopening. That's what a wonderful story. And this is what kids do. Kids being kids. <laughs> Asher, do you want to go with me today and go look at ponds? Oh, yeah. I want to look at ponds. <laughs> me too. Well, Grandma might have some plans for you guys. How about one pond? Can we get him to one pond? All right. All right. We're going to. This is so fun. I love kids' energy. <laughs> this is great. My mom 
mom and dad built this. Here's the stream that goes through all the way down to the waterfall. We kind of see right there. And then here's just a nice little area that my mom and dad built. It's kind of low in water today. Yeah, none of this got changed, only the main pond area. The waterfall. Yeah. The little beach area right there, and that I really like it. That little flat rock and this moss rock, moss rock right there, it's so pretty. And it makes it look like it's been here for decades. Plants are very cool right there. And here, the beach area is amazing. There's like an inch of water. I like this little area, the aqua box, and it just looks so cool. More moss rock. Plants, some new plants right there. Here is awesome. And then we go up here. This is one of my favorite spots. So we go in here. It's a little bit overgrown, but then we get a view of the stream. Very pretty. Keeps going down. Very pretty. Some beautiful Russian sage over there. Then you get to see the waterfall. I personally like to go around there and then just like pretend I'm falling down a waterfall. Very awesome up here. This is probably my favorite in the entire pond. So it's good, stone huh? Blue. This is fun to build. Maybe someday you could follow in your dad's footsteps and grow up and be a pond builder. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Very fun. That is good. She's already got her GoPro out filming her own stuff. You can make vlogs. You guys should make a vlog of this. Good idea? Make a vlog of this? You got the camera right here. You should do it. Really nice. So we didn't do a single thing to change anything that Aaron created all the way down this way. We just redid that. Speaking of Aaron, these are his kids. They have the energy of Aaron. You know, Aaron lost his life to cancer. I love going to his celebration of life because they really talked about how much the pond world impacted him. Working with Ed, you know, working with myself, working with Dave. Every day in life is a precious thing, but I think to really honor Aaron and his legacy is literally here from his celebration of life, what the water world meant to Aaron. Ah, peace and tranquility for a moment. Hi. Like I said, a moment. <laughs> this is super slippery. And this is a tea shop. By the way, if you don't know what tea shop is, this is a tea shop. Where'd it come from? Right there. You think that's where it was born, or do you think it came from the ocean? I think it, I think it got born by dad. <laughs> We better hurry. I think we might have two minutes of peace and tranquility. What the? <laughs> so this is the president's home, Colleen Heitzler, and this is the first thing that greets you is the old mushroom stack. You know you've been around for a long time when a product that we haven't had for 10 years is the first thing that greets you, but we have a brand new June, May? When did we build this? I think April, May, yeah. Okay, it actually it took about a month because the guys did it here and there, right? Right, right, right. So this is Colleen Heitzler, the president of Aquascape, lives the Aquascape lifestyle. So this is a pondless waterfall, and it's the same footprint, right, that they have? Pretty much the same footprint. They made it a little bigger. So how long was it here before they fixed it? Up. 19, 19 years you had it. Was there a waterfall up here that started there and they was. replaced it with a spillway bowl, right? Right, and my waterfall was the biofalls. Okay, sure, because we didn't have the waterfall spillways back yep, then. Yep. I love how the sunlight just hits this. Yeah, that little secret waterfall back there is so Just fun. a little horsetail falls. You got the new fire rock right here, so that's a brand new product. Oh, a toad, a fat toad. Look at that. Just sitting in there, warming up in the morning. We don't want to turn that fire let's, pit. Let's don't turn the fire <laughs> I love how the sun comes in here, and just look at how beautiful the logs are, and just everything. You know, you got your mums out, which is nice. So it's fun to play with, isn't it? It's so fun to play with. When we came over here the other night, my dog Willow was sitting up in that bowl yeah, and the dogs are running and they just relax and of course which one do they drink out of this one the most this one. Yeah. yeah it's a natural dog bowl what's amazing is how great this creeping jenny is i'm imagining these little animals are how you de-stress after a day at aquascape <laughs> yeah i tell them all my problems <laughs> I love another you know, spillway bowl. The creeping Jenny, I transplanted it from the pot that it came in into one of the Aquascape fabric pots. Yes. Because you had said, you, know, you got to transplant that. I just yeah. had to dunk, dunk it in there. It just became enormous. It was probably a third that size. The roots had a place to grow. I love how it just goes along the patio and comes down here. And then another, so you got three spillway bowls, a beautiful waterfalls, the impatience planted right in the stream. Quite a difference after 19 years of having the first one to the second one, huh? So different. And you know, I 
I so love our first stream. Yep. And Brian kept saying, we got to redo your stream. I'm like, I don't want you to redo my stream. I love my stream. He said, we don't even really use those kinds of boulders anymore. Right. We have so much new stuff. I'm like, I don't want you to change my stream. And so I fought him for like three years. Oh, that's so funny. I didn't even know and, that. And then it came time. We had to redo it. And so we kept most of the shape of it because it doesn't have much other option here. But I could not be happier. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous. The sound. Pretty good flow of a waterfalls. What I love about it is how it's just alongside this patio. They also made this too, didn't they add this bottom half here? This, we had this fire pit, but there was just grass on this side. Right. So they added this fire pit. They added some of these character boulders. This had been here. Bob had built this into the patio. Yeah, because didn't your husband put all this patio in? He did the patio. Right. It's pretty nice. And you got hummingbirds that come. I see hummingbirds flying over there right now. It's just a little natural haven. And I guarantee you every day you look out and you see what's going on with the pond, right? Every day. Lots of frogs, right? Lots of frogs. Yep, there's another one. Yep, I see, I see that frog right there. Are they territorial? Because they kind of, like one is in one bowl and another's in another bowl. Yes. The frogs will definitely try to push each other around. Build it and they will come. How many frogs have you seen in here at one time? More now, and I think it's the bulls. I would say 10 frogs Ten? and toads together. 10 frogs and toads because they have more area to expand yeah. with the bulls. So this is the art, you know, and we didn't do a drawing or anything. And you just knew that you wanted to incorporate some bowls. And the next thing you know, there's not one, not two, but three bowls in here, a fire rock, the driftwood, the landscaping. It's just a little paradise. push that whole berm out. So when they came right where this stump is, even though that's not the tree, there was a tree there mm -hmm. that Brian said, let's take that tree out because it doesn't add anything. And they extended the berm back by probably 10 feet. Just made it a little wider. And then they planted it up. So we have a red bud, whatever those poofy hydrangeas. hydrangeas. Oh, and here comes the kids. And you got your hands dirty working here too. Oh, I did. I did. It was super yeah. fun. Okay, hold on. Come up real close. Do you see the toad? You're within 10 inches of him. Where's he at? She'll point the toad. toad. I spy with my little eye. Somewhere here, a toad. You have five seconds to find it. Don't step One, down. Two. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to step on it. Did, catch it. Well, do you know what happens if you pick up the toad? What he'll do? What? He'll pee on you. <laughs> so if you want that, go for it. This is my house. Look. Look at a little toad. Oh, he just fell down. Do you see him? Where did he go? Is there a frog? Yep, there's a frog right there in the stream that I see, and there's some frogs in the bowls. Yeah. It's a fire pit. It's a fire pit. Yeah. Can you see the frogs? Where did that toad go? If you yes, to, you can. that didn't take long. <laughs> so this is Aaron Powers, my friend's kids that came up when we built their pond. Pretty cool, huh, Asher? So you can actually watch how this was built on YouTube on the Team Aquascape vlog. Study. <laughs> kids being kids. All right, you ready? We're gonna see who wins. You got your stick? Okay, here we go. Who's gonna be the first over the ledge? The cow is winning. No, oh, no, the pig. The pig is winning. It's it's a race. The pig is going. The pig won. Followed by the cow. Followed by the duck. And this guy got thrown at me. The pig. Right, watch. Put it in the 
That's fun.